Hi guys and thank you for joining me. This is going to be your 2015 review reading. I know it's coming in the mid of January, end of January. However, I think that it's still going to provide you guys with all the questions that uh, you have. So answer all the questions that you have for the month. I'm reading with the Alexander Daniloff tarot deck and I'm using only the trumps from his deck. But the deck uh, with the Lower Arcana, which is all 78 cards, I am selling on my on my website, and you can get the link below. Um, I believe this deck is one of the best decks out there, and that's why I chose it. So, without further ado, let's begin your reading. Hi Libra, and thank you for waiting for this reading from me. This is your part one of the two-part 2015 overview reading. I'm excited to read for you today. So I'm just shuffling the cards a little bit. Let's begin right away because these readings do take a while. So, um, yeah. I'm reading with the 22 trumps from a 78 card deck. It's really pretty. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Whoa, Libra, Justice. Okay, judgment right at the center of, the, of things. Pretty powerful spread. Let's see. You're making some final decisions about stuff this year, that's for sure. Putting some things to rest and starting anew in new directions, particularly in love. That's happening for you. Be careful of who you sleep with if you are single, just to make sure that you don't have an upset like an STD or something. Um, so just make sure to use protection and to go wisely. That's a minor thing to advise some of you. Oh cool, you have the sun as the outcome, so that gets you right to the end of the reading. Let's have a look through the reading and see what, what we can sort out. Well, there's a massive transition that you're in the middle of, and this is a fundamental life transition. That fundamental life transition is going to lead you to a better place, and it's going to get you to a better place through your own, through your own making. I think that uh, relationships might falter. You may feel like your perception of your partner may falter, and but yet you're still uh, quieting the beast that wants to respond to the situation. So what I'm suggesting is that um, you may feel like um, you may feel like um, you see a new aspect of your partner. And when you see the new aspect of your partner, you don't like it and you don't want it. And yet uh, you persist in the relationship for for a higher reason. You have higher purposes. Some of those are idealistic, but some of those are really practical. And this is going to be the whole year of you managing that perception sometimes. Some of you, some of you, if you are partnered up. Um, it could be a, a perception of someone that is not your romantic partner, but rather a brother or a parent. And someone who is in your family um, and again you would be managing that circumstance through through your own religious beliefs or perspectives and idealism um, let's see yep persistence I've kind of switched this way that I'm ex I was explaining them card by card but I think this is more conducive to what you guys are looking for um, at the center of the reading you're really making the last um, last decision, the final decision, this is the last judgment card. And and those decisions are also being made for you. The thing about this card that's really important is that it clears everything from the past. It really puts pause on the past and allows you to move forward. Um, I think that that's being modified by the death and rebirth card. So expect that even though things have been put to the past, something trickles through. There's a secret that trickles through into the present and, and that even though the advice is do as much as you can to put an end to things, do as much as you can to um, terminate um, what it is that needs to be terminated 
and then moving forward, you will be less, uh, less likely or less prone to have to carry that forward. There will be less, there will be less pressure on you to carry that forward, and and um, yeah, you will feel more. Um, yeah, you'll you'll feel like you'll be uh, less pressure to carry that forward. And um, but but there there you'll be fighting off something coming through coming through um, to your life or coming through um, secretly maybe emotionally if you if you the more you emotion get emotional about things the more that thing can percolate forward or percolate yeah come over come to you forward. Uh. Fundamental change in decision about things and fundamental change within your disposition about things. I think you're having kind of an existential crisis this year, Libra. I think you're you're having a bit of a change of heart about things. I think that you yourself as a person are changing in the way that you are um, dealing with stuff. I think that I think that um, you're seeing how your interactions with people, although. You see your interactions with people as generally good. I think you're really looking at how those interactions are are um, not that not not that good for you. You know, like the aspects of those interactions, and you will be addressing that. But that's going to be all without letting go of friends. Your friends are going to stay by your side, and you're going to persist in the situations with your friends. Um, you're going to persist in the situation with your friends um, as you had up to this point. So moving forward those situations are not going to fundamentally change and you can move forward and and keep going with the same people with just different things so just say you know like if you quit smoking and then your friend keeps on smoking around you so maybe you can uh, find a way to have that conversation with them and say well I can't smoke with you anymore I can't be around you when you smoke because it's triggering me to want to smoke and I don't want to smoke so so let's change our relationship. That doesn't mean it's the end of the relationship. It just, you just identify what it is that you need. And it's all for, for your better purpose, for what you need. So it's, it's not stuff that you can, it's important stuff. Um, with regard to work, again, changes, making the final decisions about things. You may be putting a, a, to rest a, a hope that you had for yourself, like an aspiration of what you wanted to do for work. I, but, but if you put down that hope, then you're going to set up new hopes that are, are going to surprise you as how close they are to what you really want. So it's a process of coming to terms with what, what you need. Um, and I think that maybe you're involved, some of you are involved in work situations that are just not good. And so if you are involved in a work situation, then this whole year is going to be the process of you emancipating yourself from, from the negative coil of, of that. But it's going to really be a clean break, a clean moving forward, a clean transition. There might be a few things that trickle through um, as they are reborn in new forms. So, so that you're not finished with everything yet but but for the most part you are okay let's take a look at the next cards so in your friends and family position uh, you have the chariot card modified by the world and the devil so the chariot card means that you're moving forward in new directions um, new powerful directions are afoot uh, and and you get um, really prosperous time. A lot of your social networking will be to your benefit. You'll be going to the right places with the right people, networking with the right people. So it's going to be an emancipation. It's going to be good. It's going to be uplifting for you, and you're going to feel good about it, and you're going to feel excited about it, and it's going to be empowering and and uplifting, as I already said. And I think that also people, you're going to find really close connection with people on an emotional level. So even though this is modified by the devil, um, which is kind of partying or maybe wasting time or maybe having certain aspects of those relationships tarnished by, by inconsistencies, such as I used the example smoking, 
um, overall, I think that you'll feel great connectedness with your friends. And I, I think a lot of good things will be coming for you in terms of friendship and social networking from the world abroad. So the world abroad is going to be blessing you with all these positive um, influences. I think that people will come back to you. If they come back to you, watch out for their intentions. They may uh, have uh, kind of uh, one intention that they're not communicating everything to you. So it might be quite a secret why they're there until it's too late. So just be cautious. You have enough good things going for you in your life right now to even give this person or these people too much energy. Um, more likely a woman that would come back in your life than, than a man. And so just question that. I think that you will be impressed by your friends. I think that your friends will be growing to new levels and I think that they'll take you with them. So I think that it's a group thing. I think that you yourself um, will find the emotional um, security. You're going to find the emotional pillow to fall from the thing that is not working. So the thing that, that you're putting an end to or that's coming to an end, you're going to find um, consideration and con consolation in other people. But don't get sloppy because if you get sloppy, then your chances of coming upon people who will exploit you are greater. And so you just want to make sure that you're composed. But uh, good friends, particularly Cancer, watch out for Cancer people this month, this year. Sorry, <laughs> I've filmed too many monthly readings. So, yeah, I think, I think you're good. I think you're doing good. And so moving forward in the undercurrent of the situation, So in the undercurrent of the situation is your own um, relationships with the primary people in your life. So this is, this is your social, but this is the undercurrent, which is a lot more personal. This is how you find yourself in your family situations. You may recognize that you're coming into certain patterns with people that you have come to with in the past so for example if your parents treat you a certain way and now you see your partner treating you a certain way all of a sudden you never thought it would happen you bide your time and you manage it effectively you don't freak out and then you make some decisions about how to deal with this i think this is all happening for your good fortune so that so whatever transitions that begin this year are going to really emancipate you in new directions but probably not this year i do get the sense that you're going to keep things going this year and you're going to keep things going for you know um for your own reasons and i think that there's a lot of reasons why you want to keep things at what they are and i think that changing things up is going to be quite um, changing things up is going to be uh, just undoable i think i, I Unless, I mean, you can listen to this and say, nope, I'm going to just, I'm going to end it. It's over and, and done. And I'm just, then it's going to be bogged down with things. And you're just, you can take the high road or you can take the dirty, nasty low road. And so this is your decision to take the high road. Also, I think that if you are working for men and a woman, or if you are interacting with a couple, be careful of the woman and her jealousy of you. She, the man may feel very, um, I, like, I don't think there's an issue between you and the man having an affair. I think that what's going on is that, I think that she is distrustful of you and she is the one who is, um, she is the one who is, uh, looking down at you and she actually is willing and able to that's important to remember she's willing and able to do things to you to to hurt you so she may be very polite she may never say what she intends but out of her jealousy and that's the kind of person she is she may may seek out to cause you strife and cause you roadblocks and so this year you want to be careful of this this person and so and so she would be playing the political role where she would be pretending like everything's fine and everything's kosher with her and her husband and everything's okay. And then, and then she herself may have alternative, alternative, um, intentions for, for your, um, 
for you. And then in this case, you just want to know what kind of bitch you're dealing with, right? And so if you are a man, also be careful that she, if you're a man, Libra, be careful that she's not looking to the, okay, there's two parts. If you're a man and you're involved in a relationship right now, you may be involved in a relationship with a woman that's really focused on destruction in the sense that she's afraid that the relationship will fall apart. So it's very hard for her to trust. It's very hard for her to engage with you in a relationship and feel confident. Um, alternatively, or, alternatively, she may be somebody who has duplicitous intentions towards you in which she causes you some strife and hardship. Um, and so she will do that behind the scenes. She will do that. She will do that subtly and she will do that on her own terms and she will get you worked up and she will make you feel comfortable. I think the majority, and you will need to discern that that's going to be your decision about deciding whether this woman is the woman A, the one who is, the one who is, um, um, just afraid or the one who is actually disloyal and, and, and also, particularly if you're a man with, with uh, money or someone of substance, be careful um, of gold digging. So be careful of women who are watching out for your money this year more than any other. They, they see your prominence. Libras are so social and so high profile that it kind of attracts that kind of thing anyway. You know, the, the, the banshee, the, the woman who can't earn for herself. And uh, the one who is looking for a meal ticket and one who wants to uh, weave her spell and attract someone and then, and then that. In which case, probably by the end of the year, you will be free of that. You will free yourself of that. But you want to always address that as quickly as possible. Um, but again, it's going to be that temperate approach to things. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're not going to have a big blowout. You're going to be smart and you're going to just phase out, phase out the circumstance, phase out the situation. But, it, oh, last thing, it could be a spontaneous romance as well. And it's going to be very passionate and very heated, in which case always be careful with uh, protection also, particularly this, this year. So if you are having like a blistering romance and, uh, you know, a huge, um, maybe a rebound, but, um, but if you're having this, this really powerful romance, then just make sure that you're cautious and that you're not getting yourself into trouble with health. Um, so in the, in the past, you've made some choices about um, patriarchal decisions, such as where you are in the world and what your life looks like. And, and so um, the, you've made some destined decisions, so some decisions that have implication on your life in a far way. So, so you've made some life altering decisions and you've set out a new course and this is in the past and you've established yourself and, and your community in a particular direction. You may have also just begun a new relationship which has very far reaching implications into um, who, into your future. If if this could be a, a an older male, this could be a a man who is a a mentor, and this person will 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 see you through a lot of different stuff. Um, be careful. Some of those mentors may be a little bit selfish. So if they're having you do a bunch of work for free in exchange for their business mentorship, just be cautious of how much work you do and when it's becoming t exploitative and when it's fair. Um, and, but overall, I think that you've stepped into the right path. If you've stepped into a relationship recently and there's nothing bad going on there, then you may be feeling quite in love and quite, quite, uh, amorous at this time. Um, and particularly right through the, the first part of the year, you may be even feeling like you want to get married and established, but you may have just gotten married. So, so, um, there's different variations, whatever it is, there's a real new beginning and establishment of a world order of, of your own, uh, an, an establishment of a particular order for yourself, particular circumstances for yourself. You're establishing your home and your family and your community around you. And so that is something that is empowering you as well. So 
Okay, well, thanks very much for watching this part one. Now we're going to switch over to part two, and I'm going to leave the link over here somewhere. Um, or I've already left it, but... Um, so yeah, so just make some, some just final thoughts. Make some decisions, and it's gonna, there's going to be quite a bit of transition about putting things to rest. But there's going to be a lot of positive things, particularly Wheel of Fortune, which we'll talk about um, in part two. And, and you yourself are, are surrounded by people with whom you feel really connected with. In the undercurrents, there is something brewing, and you're going to be managing that um, moving forward. So thanks very much for watching Libra and make sure to like my video, subscribe, click on the part below and for the ads and yeah, make sure to share my videos with your friends if you like them. Thank you.